Tapi terus Waktu memang ini Tidak berusaha Tidak kata para Tidak berusaha Tidak kata Ila na kusha, tila bana kwa hiyo tili kusha, cha 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 po kusha. Our Lord, we worship you this morning. We worship in the beauty of your holiness, because you are holy, you are faithful, you are God, you are good. We raise our praise to you this morning. Go ahead and raise your praise to God. Give Him all the glory. Give Him all the worship. Give Him all the honor. Say, God, I. Thank Thank you. Say, God, I thank you. Thank you for being God over my life. Thank you for being God over my family. Thank you for being God over all that concerns me. Thank you for being my father. Thank you for being my help in, in my needs. The book of Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. This morning, go ahead and sing the praises of our Lord. Go ahead and sing of his praises. Look back on all the things that he has done for you. How he has saved you. How he has helped you. How he has been your God. How he has rescued you from danger. How he has rescued you from damnation. Hey, bless the name of the Lord. My very soul shout, shout, hallelujah, praise God for saving me. Lord, we give you all the praise, all the honor, all the worship. There is none like you. I am that I am. God who reigns above all the heart. God who reigns in the heaven. The whole power for God. The whole knowing God. There is none like our God. So we worship you this morning. Lord, we give you praise this morning Lord we exalt your name this morning because there is none like you Jehovah there is none like you in our life you do the things that no man can do you do the things that no man can do for us we see your hand in every every part of our life we see your hand we see you come true we see you show up so we bless you this morning we bless you this morning everlasting father rock of ages the I am that I am the king of kings and the lord of lords because you are the one who is greater than the greatest you are the one who is bigger than the biggest you are the king of all kings you are the lord of all lords say to the lord this morning lord I bring you all the praise lord I give to you all of the praise. Lord, I give to you all of the worship. I bow before your throne this morning, returning all thanksgiving back to you because there is none like you, God. Declare your praise, declare your love for God this morning. For the book of the Lord says, I will constantly speak his praises, speak his praise this morning. Tell him how much he has saved you. Tell him how much he has loved you. Tell him all of the blessings that he has showed up for you. Tell him how grateful you are that he is your father. Lord, I am grateful that you are my father. I am grateful that you are that God that I can run to. The only living God. The only true God. Yeshua, Yahweh, the I am that I am. I worship you this morning, Lord. I worship you this morning, Lord. I bring all of the praise back to you. I bring bring all of the praise back to you because you have been my sustenance because you have been my God, because you have been my help, because you have been my provider, because you have been my shield, you have been my protector you have been my strength oh God I am grateful oh God I am grateful for there is none like you there is none like you I bring all the praise back to you oh Karata Parate and Akela 
Yada de de ko shada kane ra ko shate baya na kale taya ro ko shunda baya ra ko mara na baya kabale ya la ya ko to shada ba ira kale ya kabara ta ta kade 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 receive all of my praise receive all of my worship this morning Lord receive all of my praise akabara te te kade the Bible says even though we have ten thousand and tongues it will never be enough to sing the praise of our God so God in all with all that we have this morning we have come to return all the praise to you with all that we have this morning we have come to return the praise to you with all that we will ever be with every strength in us we have come to return all the praise to you thank you father thank you father thank you father wherever you are lift up your hands and sing his praise say thank you God say thank you God say thank you God Lord I will never take any of your mercy for granted I will always sing your praise as long as I am breathing oh God that I will always sing your praise as I long after you run after you with all my life with all of my strength and my breath that I will always sing your praise in the mighty name of Jesus I want us to pray this morning I want us to look at the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 it says commit your work to the Lord and your thoughts will be established I will read again. He says, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Ha, Lord God of heaven, help me to commit my thoughts to you. When you commit your thoughts to God, it means that all that you think about, as you think about them, as you perceive those dreams, as you receive those visions, you commit them to the Lord every step of the way ha. and you know what that does for you it helps the lord to carry you because you you he knows he knows he knows every thought in your heart pray that god this day you will help me to commit my thought to you that you will help me to commit my thought to you in all that i do in every aspect of my life you will help me to commit my thought to you you will help me to commit my works to you you will help me to commit my works to you you will help me to commit my works to you so that my thoughts will be established you will help me to commit my work to you so that my work will be established in the name of jesus you help me to commit my my works to you lord so that my thoughts will be established by the power in the name of jesus you will help me to commit my work to you by serving you with all my heart even in your house that my stewardship shall be without restraint in the name of Jesus Lord that you will give me the grace the ability to serve with all my heart in the name of Jesus thereby committing my works to you so that my thoughts will be less Established. Lord, you will pray this man that the Lord will help you to commit your work to Him by faithfully returning your tithes so that your thought will be established by committing your tithe your tithe to him it is a way for committing your resources to him it is a way to commit your works to him pray that the lord will help you to totally lean on him to let go of everything to commit all that you have to commit all that you have to him 
in the name of Jesus that the Lord will make your heart as soft as it can be that you will not have a stone heart that you may be able to commit your work to him help me to commit my works to you by faithfully paying my tithe in the name of Jesus help me to commit my works to you by faithfully serving in your vineyard in the name of Jesus help me to commit my works to you by thoughtfully utilizing the time that you have given to me in the name of Jesus that you will help me God to be a good steward of all the resources that you have put in my hands my money my time that you will help me to be a good steward even of my giftings in the name of Jesus this is your prayer this morning lord help me to commit my works to you by faithfully serving in your vineyard help me to commit my works to you by faithfully returning my tithe and my resources help me god to to commit my work to you by Thoughtfully utilizing my time and my gift in the name of Jesus. Ah, that I will not waste away my giftings. That I will not waste away my time. That I will not waste away the resources that you have committed in my hands. In the name of Jesus. That your spirit, God, the Holy Spirit of God, will help me to properly manage all of my resources. In the name of Jesus. I hope that you are praying this morning. When the Lord helps you to commit your work to Him, it is from there on to greater height. You begin to see the hand of the Lord at work in your life because you are doing everything in his guidance because you are trusting him with all that you have pray this morning that Lord you will help me to commit all of my resources to you to commit all of my works to you to commit all of my time to you you will help me to faithfully serve in your vineyard you will help me to faithfully return turn my resources and put you first in my life by paying your tithe you will miss your putting God first in your life and you know what when you put God first in your life I can take the difference becomes clear the his the his comes doors open of their own accord the book of Psalm 34 verse 4 says I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears I will read it again. Psalm 34 verse 4. It says, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Ah, thank you Lord Jesus. Because it is your time to shine your glory in my life. 
Because in this season, Lord, you deliver me from all my fears. Thank you, because in this season, you answer all of my secret prayers in the name of Jesus. This is God's time to shine in my life. Declare it, say, this is God's time to shine his glory for the world to see in my life in the name of Jesus. That Lord, that the Lord will deal with me greatly such that the world will see and ask me, how did you do? Do it. What God do you serve? That the world will see the difference. Answers to my prayers. And they will ask, Who did you tell about this? Who did this for you? That man will come to the knowledge of God through me. In the name of Jesus. But the word of the Lord says, and I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. Whatever you're going through in this season, haha, throw it upon the Lord, put it upon the Lord. He is able and capable to carry it. For this is our season of answered prayers. Those plans that you made in the beginning of the year, bring them back to the Lord. Declare say on this particular matter and I sought the Lord and the Lord answered me and he delivered me from all my fears in the name of Jesus. Speak your victory. Say it again and I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. Ha <laughs> ha. And I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and He delivered me from all my fears. Glory to God. Say it again. And I sought the Lord, and He answered me. And he delivered me from all my fears. Ah, apoko usha pare te te kile ba ya rakato to usha pare ke te posha. This is our season of answered prayers in the name of Jesus. Ah, all that the Lord has promised even from the beginning of this year. Believe me, brothers and sisters. Ah, he will still do them. He can still do them. He is capable. He never forgets. He says that he has every day of your life written in the palm of his hands. That is the God we serve. Because this is our season of answered prayers. Declare it say, and I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. Say thank you Jesus. Ah, thank you Jesus because this is a time for you to shine in my life. Ah, for your glory is risen upon me. Ah, this is God's time. This is God's time. This is God's time. In the name of Jesus. What is that thing that you have been asking? And it seems as though it will never be done. I tell you today, dear brother. I tell you today, dear sister, that our God is capable. Tell it to him and declare, say, I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. What is that impossible situation that you, your faith is shaky about, that you feel cannot be done? What is it that you're afraid about? Say, and I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because my time has come to shine. Your glory is risen upon me. In the name of Jesus. I want us to go further this morning to pray. The book, the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 13 says, This is about Peter and John. He says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, 
I want to remind you that Peter, he was a fisherman when, the, when, when Jesus called him to follow him. He says, and now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and they perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized when Peter and John spoke, they've never heard such wisdom. The book, the word of God says they marveled, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Ha! Say that this day, this day, this day, in this season of my life, that people will look at me and they will perceive that I have been with Jesus. Ha! That they will see me and they will know that I have settled it on my knees. That they will see me and they will say, Ah, this one serves a living God in the name of Jesus. That this is the season that people will know that I have been with Jesus. Are you the person that I've been doubting the power of the Lord? Victory comes for you now in the name of Jesus. You experience a season that the Lord answers your prayer and strengthens your faith in the name of Jesus. Situations that seem difficult, they begin to lead the voice of the Lord this day in the name of Jesus. For the Lord says to Moses, the land upon which you stand is an holy ground. Drop it all, drop it all this day in the presence of the Lord. Whatever troubles your heart, whatever troubles your heart, speak it to God, speak it to God. Because this is the season that the people will see that they will surely know that you have been with Jesus. People will see how God gives you the, 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 the speed, the speed, the speed that no one has seen. How God compresses time for you. How God brings favor for your way. How God shows you mercy in the name of Jesus. Declare say today my day is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. My day is blessed today. I walk in victory today. I walk in abundance today. Men look on me with favor today. Everywhere that I step into today, there is the favor of God. There is the favor of God for me. There is the mercy of God. The glory of the Lord radiates over me in the name of Jesus. When people see me, they're happy with me. When people see me, they gift me with good things in the name of Jesus. Today I have a beautiful day. Today I have a beautiful day. Nothing will truncate my joy today in the name of Jesus. As for me and my household and my loved ones, we are protected today. We are kept safe today. We are provided for today in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord we give, we bring only goodness your way today in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus mighty name we have 
prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining prayer on radio this morning. Prayer on radio is brought to you by the Pentecost House Aerodrome GRA Ibadan. If you are in town and you would like a place, a warm place of fellowship, please come along with us. Our doors are wide open. We meet on Wednesdays by 6 30 p.m. for tuning into God's channel. It is usually a time of great word and prayers and a time of communion we, we take communion every wednesday in the in the year 2024 also we meet for celebration of your life the celebration of your life is on sunday by 9 a.m come with us and god bless you have a great day